thought I figured out how to make it stop doing that. Why am I over encumbered? Um, hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. I'm not over encumbered. That's weird. Alright, um, yeah, so we're still in Iverstead. It's still a crappy day. It is the next day. I am with Feindal and Mjol and Barbus, of course, because we got Barbus back last episode. Hi, buddy. And, um, I'm right behind you. And you may have noticed, in case you somehow didn't see last episode and still saw this one, that I'm using new title cards now. I am now numbering the episodes differently because we are doing Dragonborn. I'm still numbering them as parts of the main series, but I want it to be easy to access these Dragonborn episodes, specifically if that's what people want to watch. So I am numbering them separately as that as well. And so this is technically the second episode of Dragonborn. And since Dragonborn has to start with you doing the very beginning of the Greybeard stuff. Well, I guess it's technically all of the Greybeard stuff, unless you count the Parthenax stuff. You get my point, though. We have to talk to the Greybeards. That's why we're in Iverstead. Johan is finally starting to question whether or not some of the stuff people have been saying about him could be true. He still doesn't believe that he has some grand destiny, but as much as he pretends to be a fighter, he's not really. He's an intellectual first, and so he, he likes to try to remain skeptical of things and to at the same time be open to new ideas so he's he's considering whether or not that it may be true that I'm gonna go turn that no, that's the wrong button the um, the uh, no stones unturned off for now um, he's beginning to consider the possibility that there may be more to his life and destiny than what he's willing to admit, and that does involve talking to the Greybeards, but there are things in this town that it just doesn't make sense for him not to do. Like the, checking out this barrow and going over to that island where this girl may have died, um, that Narfi guy's sister, and um, checking them out. There, this, this barrow in particular is supposedly haunted, which Johan finds very possible. So he wants to go in here and check it out. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Now, seeing as how Johan has done the College of Winterhold quest line, he's expecting maybe like Ghost Draugr or something, you know? Something like that. Something that he has dealt with before and can handle. Because um, he's run into Dwemer Ghosts too, I guess, but he's never actually run into like I've been fighting quite a, few as much about controlling a proper ghost. Because even even those Dwemer ghosts have um, soul gems on them as if they ooh, nice, as if they were purposefully made into ghosts to guard the um, guard the dwarven ruins so this would be like his first encounter with a real life ghost And, of course, the dialogue subtitles gave it away who it is. Great. Um, oh, man, I don't remember what the puzzle is here. I mean, there's... I there's, thought that was another uh, lever. Have I, have I done this one yet? I guess so. My dogs are barking in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Let's see what these levers do. Oh, hey, poison. Good. You probably definitely heard that bark. Alright. Try this one. Um, this one? That opened both of those. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Don't know why I'm sneaking exactly. Alright, hold on one second. I'm not sure what the heck my dogs are barking at. I think that got him to stop, though, so. That's actually a fairly clever trap, because you're like, you like run down there thinking the next one will open right away, and then boom, you get hit by those spikes. Feindal probably would have fallen for it. Wouldn't you, Feindal? Ooh, nice. I'm actually kind of low on the, kind of low on soul gems, too. This is an apprentice lock. Have I shown you guys a skeleton key in action yet? I don't think I have. That was not really a good demonstration of its capabilities, but it was a demonstration of it in general, which is something, I guess. Oh, that's trapped. Huh. No, it's just more poison darts. Okay, not a big deal. 
And Feindal was smart enough not to follow me in there and trigger the trap. That was nice. Barbus was not that smart, though. Barbus doesn't have to worry about anything, though, because he's an immortal demon dog thing. I didn't even really need to go get him back. I just really like him. Um, okay, let's see if we can we can show it off this time. Okay, watch, watch. Just no matter how hard I try, it, it never breaks. It acts just like a regular lockpick, but it never breaks. It's the greatest thing in the world. Dude... Oh, that wasn't even Feindal. Did Mjol learn Feindal's um, weird teleporting powers? Ooh. In character moment now. It's one of those puzzle doors. We've seen a couple of these now. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't we get a claw once from a woman in Winterhold to investigate another one? Seems like these things are all over the place, but I don't know what we can do. I don't have the claw that goes with this door. Uh, I did see another way to go, though, so I guess that's the way we'll have to go for now. Just more crypts, it looks like. It's an urn. Anything in this urn? Stamina, do not care. Ah! There's a ghost. I'm going to try to sneak up on the ghost and kill it with assassination tactics. Even though it's a ghost. It's totally a ghost, you guys. We swear it's actually a ghost. It's, it's not a ghost. You remember in the last episode that Wilhelm guy at the inn talked about a guy named Wendelius who came through wanting to investigate the Barrow? Fain, don't move. Um, this is actually Wendelius. Um, there's a a really long, like a really super long um, journal that I'll pick up in a second and go through. This is what let him do that. It doesn't actually have any purpose in the game. It makes you look like a ghost. And that's literally it. People don't even treat you differently. Um, there's a really long journal entered from the sky. Is that something? Oh, I'm going to take it. It sounds interesting. Um, this is his journal. I'm going to go through it like page by page so you guys can pause it and read it if you want but basically he knew that there were that there's a treasure in here so I meant to hit um, talking about whatever's past the puzzle door um, and he also knew that there were some superstitions of ghosts haunting the place so he came in here set up an alchemy lab made that potion to make him look like a ghost so that he could scare people away while he tried to figure out how to get into the puzzle door and eventually uh, drove himself crazy and began to believe that he really was the ghost ha haunting and protecting the barrow. But I'll, I'll go through here page by page like I said so you guys can pause and read it if you want. It's just it's pretty long so yay so now I don't know why I went into sneak mode again so now we have, we have successfully investigated Barrow. There must not be anything left to do in Daughter here. Let's head back to town. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's uh, anything I can get you, just let me know. Thanks, buddy. Actually, it we turns don't get out. Many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to high you, we, we talked yesterday, course. dude. Um, turns out you're just a big scaredy pants. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. Well, not originally. He took advantage of your guys' we superstition. We were so stupid. Yeah, I mean, well, pretty stupid. Least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Um, thanks. And we get the Sapphire Dragon Claw, which means that, um, what was the name? Windelius was. Time, friend. Uh huh. Windelius, um was in there, drove himself crazy looking for the claw. You'll move. Um, when he could have just come here and asked Wilhelm for it, and Wilhelm probably would have given it right to him. It's one of those little Skyrim ironies that makes this game really morbidly hilarious. Let's head back in here, let's use this Sapphire Dragon Claw and see what exactly is beyond that Nordic puzzle door. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright, back into the Hall of Stories. 
Where is this claw exactly? In miscellaneous, I would imagine. Sapphire Dragon Claw. And um, if we go here, zoom in on it, we can see it is Moth, Owl, Wolf. So, uh, there we go. Middle ring is right already. That one's right now. And... Keep your eyes open for traps. Old ruins like this are usually filled with them. Um, thanks, Fando. Must be why he didn't trigger that trap before he's actually been paying attention to him. And this should open it. Let's get back though. Can I help you? Big stutter there. I had to actually click back on the game screen to get to work. I hope it didn't flub up my recording at all. It was How can I assist you? crazy. I'm hungry. Eat and drink something real quick. Let's see. Baked potatoes. And I'm feeling I'm feeling celebratory because I just opened a, a secret puzzle door. So let's, let's drink some wine because I'm an idiot. Um thought I saw a trap there for a second. Let's let's sneak again. Just because I can. Common oh, soldier, that's not bad. Who has feigned all? You're giving us away, dude. Right, weapons out. There's gonna be Draugr in here. I guarantee it. I wish stuff like Mule coughing just there. Actually, I don't need oak flesh. I'm not going to even bother picking it up because it'll tr probably trigger a trap if I do. Um, I wish things like mule coughing just there um, actually like affected our stealth. Alright, completely missed that guy. Holy crap. And he just apparently doesn't see me or something. Alright. Is there anything back here? Okay, yeah, there's a switch. There's a guy over there, guys. Oh, there's a guy here, too. I'll take care of him. Heavy armor went up for some reason. Well, this guy is a mage. Let's, um... Oh, that's Shroud. I don't want Shroud. Crap. Let's get a Betty out here to counter his Atronach. Um, even though his Atronach can... Where's, where's Close Wounds? There it is. Even though his Atronach can do more damage and is strong against Betty. Betty's also strong against his Atronach, and she has ranged abilities, so... She... It, it, should, it should be a pretty even fight. Assuming she stays back from him. There's also the fact that we, like, killed his Atronach, too. We're getting lots of Alessias in here, which is very nice. Oh, I need to hit. Switch, okay. Hit it, and then get back in case I get trapped in there, because that has happened to me before. That's interesting. Okay, sure. You did not have anything. All right. Let's not hit that, please. I'm pretty sure that'll just open up the floor and trap us. Um, regular iron door. That is again the wrong spell. Okay. Um. Conjure Betty. Let's hop over this, or just run through it, I guess. That works, too. That killed Betty. Excellent. Hmm. Guys, seriously, stop hitting traps, please. Get another Betty up front. Oh, and we were in combat, so that actually raised my conjuration. Good. Guys, stop stepping on the traps. Seriously, it's not that hard. You just you just see a trap and don't step on it. Chest over there. Alright, I need to recharge my nocturnal blade soon, too. Um, probably not the best time to light all that oil on fire there, Betty. But I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Are there any other any other enemies in this room, or was it just? Can I seriously not lock up that there? Or is it just those skeletons? Oh no, there's more guys. I have more guys. Uh, one of them can shout. That not good. I, 
think I think I'm completely out of charge actually because I'm not seeing any electric effects on these guys. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't have a ton of soul gems. Let's do that one. I got my enchanting up to 84. Excellent. Um, the the frost enchantment on here because the this weapon does have a frost enchantment and a shock enchantment. The frost enchantment isn't gonna do much to these guys, but the shock enchantment is still pretty good against them because. A lot of these guys are mages. Oh, hey. How's it going? You gonna shoot? You gonna shoot? There's a trap there. Trigger that trap for me. I wanna see what it does. Or barbers, you can do it, I guess. Now, it's swinging axes. Shock. Um, uh, Fendo, seriously? You're gonna get banished through the wall if you're not careful, buddy. And I'm just gone. Is there a switch? No? Okay. Am I missing it? There's usually a switch. Oh, here we go. Switch to turn those off. Fendo, are you alive? Yeah, you're alive, okay. Not sure if we're going the right way or not. Alright, you're dead. That you. Yeah, you could have. Don't don't even pretend. Mule Mule likes to flatter me, apparently. Let's keep going. Uh Here's something. That was weird. Alright, that guy's dead. Are you are you a restless one? Yeah, you're fine. Dungeon's actually a lot easier than some of the Draugr dungeons I've been in. Shroud have Pharaoh Key, Silver Ingot's always good. Nice. And that just opens the door. Excellent. Um, this is kind of a big room. Okay. Is there anything down there that is of interest to me? Um, deep water. Don't I have a necklace of uh, water breathing? Put that on. Go swimming for a minute. See if there's anything of interest down here. Cyrodiil Spike Club on this guy. I don't think it's even deep enough that I need the, the necklace, but... I don't think I can really go any further through here. But that's fine. I need to actually be remembering that the necklace exists, so I'll use it. Um, let's see. Waning magic. Which I'm probably going to be disenchanting soon. Ah, I remember this puzzle. Okay. Is there anything behind the waterfall? Mm, yeah. Okay. I'd like to check that. It makes sense, too, from my perspective. Ooh, soul gem. You know, seriously. Not a very good soul gem. But it's still a soul gem nonetheless. Excuse me. There go my dogs again. I think there's somebody doing some work out in their yard or something. Keeps, um, keeps getting them worked up. Alright. You are actually fairly tough. Let's get a Betty up here. And get me a healing potion. Um, where are you at? I mean, I've got this guy pretty much in the bag. It's just I want to be safe, you know? Excellent. And you are dead. Which is the best kind of dead. The kind of dead that doesn't involve me being dead. It still technically involved me, I guess, because I'm the one who killed you. It's good to know that I can handle relatively tough guys, though, pretty easily at this point. Well, that was specifically a Nordic coin curse. Neat. Alright, so this, this puzzle is actually pretty interesting. 
we have these here, these are the spinny ones. But if you look around, there's really no indication of... Um, Dangerous about. I can pet. Yeah, yeah. Cautious. There's really no indication of... Um, what you would turn them to. But if you stand on this, these doors start to rotate. And we see whale there. Alright, so whale is the first one. And we have eagle there. Just gotta play the waiting game. Getting hungry again. Um, snake. So it's whale, eagle, snake. Come on. Whale. Whale, eagle, snake, whale. Let's see, whale, eagle, I was already set to snake, whale, and then you go stand on this, and it opens up this stuff here. Grab that, and I don't need a dwarven axe. There's a guy up there. I don't know why I just healed myself. Like, I, I didn't even think that was a different spell. I just, I, con I consciously was like, I should heal up. There's a guy up there. All right, let's see if we can aggro him so I can get the experience. There we go. What was that? Don't hit the trap, please, guys. You suck so bad. What's this one? Can I not trigger it? There we go. Think you're gonna take me? Well, oh, that guy's dead. Well. Excellent. Probably a stupid place to put your trap, honestly. Serenoic iron bow, nice. Not really nice enough for the cake. Now well, Betty got killed. This place is pretty deep, huh? Wow, this has an end gamey feel to it, doesn't it? Keep your guard up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. She and I think alike. Yeah, well, they, these are just skeletons, so. Got my one handed up though. Hey, stop running from me. Stop it. So far, this has been a really boring final boss fight. They're not a thing in there. Or do all these minions have to come out first, I guess, maybe. You got this? She's got this. Ah, my friends are locked out. They're trying to get in, though. Come here. Push over. What do you have? No, no. All right. uh, you're a little tougher, aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? Betty, get out of the water. You're going to put yourself out. Um, there's some bigger guys getting up now. What is that? A texture? It's a texture, guys. I think it's, I think it's just a texture. There we go. You have anything? Yes. Yes. Take even crappy soul gems right now. Oh, hey. You got a cool helmet. Alright, see, so these guys are just coming out of the woodworks now. Let's get my clothes wounds back out, because I'm actually taking a little bit of a beating. It's, it's kind of... Oh, there's multiples of those. It's kind of shocking how, um... How much difference a couple of perks and... a small upgrade to armor makes, because even Restless Draugr a couple levels ago would have been strong enough to do a lot more damage than this to me. Come on, searching you. Thank you. Um, so what came out of there? You a Death Lord? Oh, you're a Scourge Lord. That's not quite as bad, I don't think. Um, you can freeze me, though, apparently. That's good. And you do a lot of damage. Okay. Let's um back up here for a minute. 
Um, I'm going to jump down here. I don't know if he'll be able to follow me up on to this, and I can join Betty in range spamming him. Oh no, it looks like he can come up here. Okay. Hop. Betty's, Betty's got it covered, though. Look at her go. Oh, she's dead. Great. Um, let's put another her right there. Distract him, if possible. Yeah, okay. We should have this now. Let's see if I can get my massive attack going. And he's dead. It was a very manageable fight. Okay. Death Lord probably would have been a little harder than that, but... End of the day, I think that was pretty successful. Did that open? Yeah, okay, so my friends can get in here now. And it opened this path so we can progress. <sighs> I'm feeling good about this. This dungeon so far, I feel, has been really fair. That totally looks like a trap. Um, grab the stuff that's on the outside first. And step stand over oh, here. Yeah. Boiled chitin heavy boots. Don't really care. Those, holy crap. Yes, please. And I'll take Petty Soul Gem and I'll take ten silver Alessius. Oh, so they're not regular coins, so I have to actually hit that thing. Okay. Whoa, one of those darts hit its shield hard enough to send it flying. Crap. I'm... How am I over-encumbered? Ah, Fain doll. Where's Barbus? By the way. Oh, he's over there. I've got your back. Um, here. I need to give you something. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Sure you will. Yeah, you can just hold on to these boots for now. I, I know you're going to wear them. And you you'll be bummed out when I take them away from you later, but it's really the only thing I have that is easily accessible that I, um, can give you. Kind's Peace, which is a really underrated shout, I think. Now we can leave that way. Um, I don't know if there's anything over there. I don't think there is. Is there anything down below? Doesn't look like it. I don't really care, even if there is. Huh? You know, just please get out of the way. Thank you. Head through this door. And, uh, this should take us... Yeah, to a back way out. Anything of interest in this room? We already got the boss chest, so I'm not... Expecting there to be another one, but every once in a while they'll put a little extra treasure as you're heading out. And there you go. And we come out literally right by where Wendelius had himself set up shop. Literally, the path into there, the the alternate path into there was right behind him the entire time. And his story gets even more ironic. Um, which way do I go to get out of here? This way? Alright, and Wilhelm, Still here. when we talk to him about the missing girl, Rada, Reina or something, he mentions something about a an island, kind of off in this direction. So... I want to go investigate that island very, very quickly and see if I can find some indication of the girl there. Maybe they missed, maybe she came out to one of these smaller islands or something. And uh, I'm going to get a quick save though because I haven't saved in a while. Uh, maybe she came out to one of these islands first. You should have seen me at the height of my adventuring career. I was fearless and took too many risks. I would have totally lost but my shit, man, because you're awesome as you are now. Um, now, are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> There's no smith or general merchant in town either. Oh, uh, it's, probably, it's probably also because I'm hungry and getting tired. Let's eat something really quick. 
Got my carry weight down a little bit though. Didn't bring it back up at all. I, I don't think. I think it's fatigue that affects your um, carry weight with this mod. I don't. I don't even freaking know. Um, so I can kind of see why this girl would come over here. There's lots of plant life here. Um, like there's some some mushrooms down there by that cave. I think I think the best theory I have right now is that she might have gone into the cave to try to get better uh, mushrooms. May not get on this rock. I went on this rock. Let me onto this rock. Open world game. There we go. Could have gone around the rock too, I guess. Um. Yeah, she probably just went inside the cave to look for better mushrooms, so that's probably where we should go. I heard it was called Gyrman's Hall, which sounds like the name of a of an ancient city or a barrow or both. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll find some secret inside here. Mm. Mm. It looks just, it looks kind of like what was a cave. That? more than a barrow, but, oh no, there's one of those barrow statues. This is interesting. It's a very interesting little cave. And I obviously know the twist that you can fall down there and access the actual barrow. Um, there's a hole here. They said this girl's been gone a year, right? So I doubt she's still alive. But if she fell down this hole, she could be, in theory, right? Quick save. So, I don't see any choice but to follow her. Assuming this is where she went. I, and I honestly don't know if that's the case or not. But, and of course, you guys just teleport right down. Johan is a good guy, so he, he would check either way. Whoa, that's a spider. There Get it! Are. Kill it! Is someone there? Oh. I'm, I instantly regret my decision to come down here. Um, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Uh, do I still have, um... Where would it be? Night vision somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Because I don't want, um... I don't want to be caught off guard by any more of these things. Yee. Let's get... Betty up ahead. <clears throat> she doesn't seem to be aggroing anything. Depth door. Let's see, it's behind it. Probably more spiders. Just to give me another freaking heart attack. Get in there, Betty. Now it's just this. What is this? Plate armor. Um, it's, it's got decent. The ancient it's got a decent sad. resale value, but I've got better stuff, and it would put me over. Wait. Um. Trap chest. Let's. Can I not? Come on. There we go. And the thing about the skeleton key is, locks still take just as long to unlock, right? So, they're still just... The, the minigame's still just as annoying as it ever was. It's just, you're never going to ever fail it, so... Makes makes things a little bit easier, and actually, you end up getting kind of uh, reckless with it, usually. Um, I probably could have used that, but I'm not going to take it. Alright. Oh, we've got these things. Good. So, let's see. Eagle Whale... Snake whale, maybe. That's weird. What was that? Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. It's like the the water effect. Is that because of my night vision? No, that's. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, eagle whale, snake whale, I think. I have no idea why I'm getting this effect here, and it's bugging me. Um, quick save, in case this is an indication that my game is going to explode. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. Oh no, never mind, we're good. 
just walking out of here. There we go. No idea why I did that, but holy crap, that was painful. Wow, okay. Now there's a guy. Betty up there to aggro them. Summon a second Betty in place of the first. Well, re summon Betty again to get my conjuration experience up. She's taking a bit of a beating. See if I can get up behind these guys. That same effect is happening in here, too. I don't know why. Um, and now my FPS is going crazy. And that guy's flying. Wow, okay. This is weird. Let's get another Betty out here. He fell. Just as I was thinking about ranged options, he fell. Yo, god dang it. It's not the first time you've done that. She, it, she doesn't seem like somebody who's used to um, fighting with a group. What'd you have? Alright, well, I haven't seen any indication of this girl yet either. Is that. I don't care. Yeah, this, this, this is so glitchy. Look at that. How glitchy this is. Jeez. Wow. Okay, what do you have? Gyerman's Epitaph. Archmage. Archmage! Interesting. Shield of Skin Grad, that's gotta be added by a mod. Interesting. What does this say? Lord Gyerman, I think that's how it's pronounced. Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battle Mage to King Harold. Who, haven't we heard about him before? Magnus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death, as you did in life. By these seals our realm preserved from the traitor three and their charm of strife. Actually, I kind of want to keep that for my collection of random weird papers that I've found and or have delivered to me. Ah, freaking, freaking, fuck, spiders, God. Kill the spider. I don't even care about the stupid Draugr. Kill the spider first. Hurry up about it. It's only a restless. Uh, that sounded kind of crazy. There, buddy. You okay? Cyrodelic Iron Battle Axe. Frenzy Poison, which I will never use. Is there anything up here? And invisibility. It's pretty good. I'm over encumbered from that. Are you freaking kidding? Let's go ahead and eat something again. I need to, I'm going to have to teleport somewhere after I'm done here and um, go sell some stuff though because this is ridiculous. Oh, and there's another soul gem. Does that put me over? No, okay. Because there really is no place in Iverstead to sell things. I'm gonna start sneaking a little bit, just in case. Oh, there's a that's a Death Lord. That's a Death Lord. Um This is gonna be an interesting fight. He's got a weird chitinous shield too, which is sturdy. We're doing okay. Thanks for having my back. <sighs> you are welcome. Thank you for having my back. He had an ebony sword. Holy crap, I'm taking that. Mm -hmm. Um here, I'm gonna see what I can what give can I to these guys. You? Um you can hang on to this glass mace that I picked up and this sword. I'm also gonna give you all of my um various ingredients as well. There we go. That's better. Um, which way do we go now? A little confused. Oh, here we go. Um, lever. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Um, so, the actual 
way through is probably hidden somewhere. The actual switch to lower that. And if I had whirlwind sprint, I could whirlwind sprint across there. I really, I'm not sure where it is. Oh, it's it's literally right there. Good job, me. I am the smartiest. Um, and that is probably just as straightforward as it looks, because there was already one puzzle. Yep. Oh, hey, guys. Since you're aggroed on me, I will increase my conjuration slightly by throwing a Betty at you. Come on, die. It's not that hard. You just have to stop living. See, you got it. Who are you fighting? Up, oh, somebody with a with a thing. Hi, somebody with a thing. Have a Betty, which is ob uh, argu arguably a better thing than what you had. Is Neil over here? Is she coming? Did she fall? Maybe. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. Try go help. Ah. Um, that was a lot of damage. Okay. I need to stop treating things like they can't hurt me when very clearly they can. Um, hit the switch. If I can get to it. There we go. You know, we'll catch up with us, I'm sure, eventually. What is that? Aversion to Frost? That's not useful to me at all. Interesting. This is a different looking kind of room. And I've seen circles like this before. They're typically used to allow people to teleport around the room. No weird water effect in here, that's good. Um. Okay. Who the heck are you? Uh, and he teleported. Why am I not surprised? Oh, and he cloned himself. That's good. And he can knock me around the room with his voice. This is excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, where'd he go? Over there. And over there. And also over there. Okay. Um. Come here, buddy. You seem pretty solid. I'm, I'm assuming you're the real one. Uh, Mule seems to have made that same assumption. Uh, and he teleported again. I leveled up, though. That's good. Alright, let's see. Did any of these? Yeah, that one retained damage, so he's the he's the right one. Ah, that was funny. That was. Did you guys see that? I basically just like fell over backwards. Didn't get knocked down. I just I just kind of fell over. That was that was hilarious. Ah, you jerk. Um, Betty's still around, so um, that's still helpful. I should summon another one though, just to get the extra experience. Um, completely missed him. Come here, buddy. We get him? Is he dead? Yeah, excellent. Which gives us the Galder Black Bow, which is absolutely terrible. Um, there's really no point in taking it, but it's a unique item, so it's a uniquely named item, so that's a thing. But it also gives us. Another fragment of that weird ancient Nordic amulet that we found all the way back during the um, Mage College missions at Sarthal. And another writ of sealing. So, where was that way forward over here? Let's get out of this gross, murky, stagnant water. And, uh,. Go find this writ of sealing that I just picked up. Uh, here we go. Um, read some teleport spells while I was in there. 
Uh, be bound here, Sigdis, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against realm and ward. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever, and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. So there's another one just like, um, uh, Yurik, what's his face? And there was also a piece of that weird amulet with them. So now we've made the connection that those weird amulets have something to do with these Golderson people. There's our boss chest. I'm just looking around for more traps. I don't trust this place. So I'm seeing all these Cyrodiilic shields all over, added by a mod, obviously. <coughs> take that, take that. Um, and I'm waiting to see one from Anvil, because if you guys forget, Anvil was where uh, uh, Johan's from. Ebony sort of depleting, yes. 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 Meh, yes, don't care. Not bad. Um, is there more to this place? Or are we just heading out? Um, lever. Oh, there's Barbus. Hey, Barbus. Um, did you move, Barbus? Did you not follow me down there? I guess he just, I guess he wasn't able to follow me down there. So we didn't see any indication of that girl. So I, I'm really not sure where she is. Uh, but overall... Jeez, it's late. Overall, that fern-looking thing looked like a spider and scared the crap out of me. Um, I still think we accomplished something. We furthered that mystery a little bit. Let's see, maybe... Is it possible that she ended up downstream a little bit. I know there's some waterfalls over there, so they, they kind of pull the water in this direction. So maybe she ended up drowned and downstream. Let's uh, put my water breathing necklace back on, and I'm going to go for a quick swim and not swing my sword. I don't even know why I did that. And see if I can find any indication of this girl. Mm, here we go. Um, a body looks pretty old, and if I, I could just get it, there we go. And I end up taking something, I think. Um, a a body that seems fairly old and has a satchel on it. And I know this says Raida's necklace, but again, Johan would. I don't know why, how she managed to get a human heart. I'm just gonna pretend that's not there. Because um, it's just it's just random scaled um, loot, so there's there's no reason that, why that should be there. Um, I know this says raid his necklace, but again, Johan wouldn't know that it's raid his necklace. So I'm gonna take this, and um, we're heading to the the inn now. Anyway, I'll see if if Wilhelm recognizes this necklace. See if he can confirm that this is this was. Um, Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, if the, that this was Rada, before I go talk to Narfi about it and, and bother him, you know. Uh, Welcome to the Villamir Inn. Freaking got freaking Eddie out. Just let me know. Ah, uh, thanks, buddy. May the gods stings. watch over your path, friend. Your thanks. Um. I guess I can't actually tell him about it. Is it because I don't have it turned on? Ah, uh, turn this off for now. It says to bring it to Narfi, that's probably why. Glad you're here. Yeah, I can't actually tell him about it. I thought you could, that's weird. Um Sure thing. Go ahead and it's yours for a day. Find my room while I'm here. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yeah, uh, thanks. I actually know where it is. I stayed there last night. What can I get for you? Barbus is just clowning around. Let's go talk to Narfi. Um, he's gonna be bummed about this. And now this is another quest line where, just like with with that girl, Fastrid, this is another one that has multi, like two, basically two choices. The difference here is that the the two choices do not make this guy equally happy. 
That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Um. Th these two options shouldn't be showing up yet. I found this necklace, and I think it might be Raida's. Raida! You saw Raida? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? I actually agonized on this way more than I probably needed to. What would Johan do in this situation? This guy seems super unstable. He already seems super miserable anyway. And he's still convinced that she could be alive, right? The townspeople have been reinforcing that. It almost seems like they've been doing that to take care of him because they know he'd break down if they didn't. So, as much as it goes against Johan's typical moral code, normally he'd be straight with people. I'm going to lie to this guy and tell him that Raida is still, still alive. She's out there in the world. She's fine. She'll be back soon. And, she, and that Narfi will get to see his sister again. You've made Narfi so happy. Narfi now waits for his sister until she comes home. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. You're welcome, Narfi. And then he gives you some random alchemy stuff. Um, including human flesh, apparently, because it's just, again, just random bad. loot. Uh, random level loot. Um, probably stuff that Raida had given to him at some point. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode, because it's a little... I've been recording longer than I realized. It's my dog's going off again, jeez. Um, let's do another stamina, just because, again, I haven't done much stamina. Let's get it up to, like, maybe 150, and then focus on other stuff, because... I'm getting a 10 point health boost from my varied diet from that eating perk, or that eating mod, rather. So that's at about 300, which is pretty good. Let's get this to 150 for extra carry weight, extra power attacks, and then I'll start focusing on health and only mixing in stamina here and there, because I don't think I'll ever need more magic than this. Um, but while we're in here, what perk should I get? Can I get anything in restoration yet? Anything interesting here? This is 90, so no. Um, dual casting, I don't care about. Spirit Tutors is interesting, but I, I'm not worried about it. 30% more powerful if the recipient is below half health. Um, bonus increases as health decreases. My dogs are going nuts over something. Um, give me just one second. Again. I could be going towards this, which gives me extra damage spells in Restoration. I've been using disease spells anyway, so that's a thing. I have to go through Edgewalker, which is... I don't remember what it does. I'll check it in a second. Plague Doctor, R of Death, reduces the poison disease resistance of anyone um, approaching within 40 feet, whether friend or foe, so that's kind of dangerous, because if I'm fighting Falmer and I've got my friends around, poisons would hurt them a lot more. If you are diseased or undead, restoration spells are 15% stronger and last 50% longer. Uh, what does Edgewalker do? Restoration spells? Oh, yeah, yeah, I literally just read that one. Okay. So, in combat, you may cast tar targeted healing spells. That one's, that one's pretty good, too. Um, no, go there. That one's pretty good. What does Vigilant do? First words you cast do not care about wards. Uh, dis uh, when descending light ends, hostile and dead within 40 feet burst into flames. Hmm, actually, I've got that descending light thing. Magicka rapidly uh, regenerates when I enter combat. I think I'm going to go with this. Go like an exorcist route, an anti-undead route. Because I, I would have put it in like um, heavy armor, but heavy armor is... Um, actually, I probably could have put something in heavy armor because it went up more than I realized. Never mind. Well, I've got I've got that now. That should be interesting to try out. That's really about it for this episode, guys. Um, they're both going to level up now because Mule finally started leveling up. I guess she was just a much higher level than I realized. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video because I, I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, please help me out. Like and subscribe and share the video with anyone else who you think might also enjoy it. Either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.